Welcome to the channel, everyone. Out of jokes, we are with Tatot versus Pete Martel. Tatot, all people know. Pete Martel, more unknown, but but he is a arena player, Mr. Satch. Arena player, everyone. And he's over 2K Italian. Why I put France, La France? I don't know. Why it's crashing? I don't know either. But it crashed, and I'm going to, to try again. Not this. Let's go to, to the tournament lobby if I find it and I'm going inside again and like I said you this is going to be an interesting game really interesting game I quit betting well so he did the betting for Tatot he wants to secure and now we are inside guys for the bettings go 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 and uh, let me change the colors just to make like a standard Tatot blue and Pete Martel red Tatot option one Pete Martel option two and He's, he said of France, but he's Italian. As far as I know, he's from Italy. Why he put La France uh, flag on the on the overlay? I have no idea, but he's Italian. Okay. Well, we will see. The civilizations are Tatot Koreans, Tatot Koreans, Pit Martel Teutons. I don't know. I'm not sure about this, but uh, well. Koreans and Teutons is uh, Koreans is a weird choice, but uh, you will know how Koreans can work. It can be very, very strong. We will see. Anyway, we can check now the civilizations, right? And go for Korea. Yeah, but when you when we see the civilizations, we, you are always thinking on on the main units, on, on the unique units. But uh, it's uh, it's weird, man. It's really, really weird. Okay. Okay, well, Korea, remember that they don't have the uh, the extra range in the Mangonels, but they have a minimum range, a minimum range now, so we will see, guys, we will see. Gonna go and take the boar, one, two boars. Yeah. Goal, well, the map for Tato is unreal, man. One, two, three, four goal. Four goal inside. One exposed, but the others, the map is fantastic. Well, this guy, he has only one goal. Only one goal inside. Safe. Pretty beautiful and amazing. Yes, but only one. So, I'm fair, man. I mean, even if he's taking this one, this one, and this one that belongs to Tatot, the map, it's a total unfair map here in favor to Tatot. Really? Well, it can happen. And now, Teuton's civilization, Pete Martel. Say that. If you go aggressive, it doesn't really matter that much. The relics, one on the right side. That, in the middle of the map, have to fight. But this belongs better to Tato, closer, and another one. This one has to fight, but no, they have to fight. It's pretty similar, the distance. Okay. There's no restart anymore, remember? Because it's over five minutes, so we will see, man. Anyway, let's now check it back and it's Tatot exploring. No, he didn't explore the back of his base. Yeah, but the war wagons, well, with the resources Tatot has there, he can do war wagons, but they are expensive for a 1v1. I mean, we are always thinking on the, on that. Stone is bad for Martel too. Yeah, man, everything is, is bad. Well, this is not terrible, it's not super close. But it depends what Martel is going to do. This luring boar it, uh, is pretty strong. I mean, yeah, it's it's a, it's a nice luring. Some of the viewers in my channel, I think they could do probably even better, right? But uh, wow, that luring there is unreal, man. <laughs> look at look at Rubenstock. <laughs> Look at Rubenstock putting the Hoopé Hoopé video. Check that video, guys. Check that video, yes. And uh, you will see a, a beautiful luring. <laughs> Amazing. Anyway, it's not it's not a disaster because he's still with nice population. It's still no loom. Now pushing the deers. So, yeah, he's, he's working okay with, the, with his economy. 
We are always thinking about unique units because in Arena players will 100% drop a castle even pretty early and go for you very often. I don't think so. I I vote more for for tower rise from Tatot and Siege. Towers all over the map and Siege more than a castle and war wagons. But you never know. You might be right. You have a point that well we will see. We'll see what Tatot is planning to do. Maybe he's gonna do some crazy stuff. Maybe he's gonna go for the boom, or maybe he's gonna go for the castle. We are just guessing. Right now, I think he's gonna go up 25 population because he didn't make a house. So he's going to go up Tato 25 population up. While a Pit Martel, one, two, three, four, five, six farmers. Okay. Yeah. Four villages on wood. Another on the left. Mm, it's pushing the deers. How many villages? Five villages on berries. And Pit Martel is going up now with one villager more. Yes, one billion more, man. Ay, ay, ay. <clears throat> well, remember that Teutons is nice with the farmers. They are cheaper, 33%, which is great. One, two, three, four, five, six farmers. Okay. Stone, gold, another gold. I'm using different sound today. Hopefully, if you don't complain, I hope that, that everything is good. You didn't see? You didn't see? Come on, man. You didn't see till now? Oh my god, it's epic, man. It's epic. Yeah. Huh. Well, resources for Tato? Strong. Very strong. Blasmith and Market. Is he mining the stone? No. So, he's going for the boom, it seems. Hmm. Okay. Oh, he's doing the loom? Yeah, and then he's going to do something crazy. Okay. Well I have I have to disable because since I was streaming before before coming with uh, the PlayStation 4, uh, and the PlayStation 4 is working with Bluetooth, it was doing some uh, some conflict, so I had to use the, the normal. You know, and during the stream, I cannot change the device because if I change the device, it's uh, I'm gonna lose the I'm gonna lose the the sound for these things for this. You see, why I don't know, but if I change the device during this during the stream, I lose some some sounds in the in the stream, and I prefer to not lose, so I'm using the cable to don't lose anything. It's fine. The quality is still good, still super strong, so no problem. And what I said, what I said about the towers, what I said about the towers, what I have to, what I said in Dark Age Feudal Age that Tatot was going to do with towers instead of castle, what I said, so, so. You understand me now, Ch Chessy Logic? I mean, for some reason, it's, it's what it is, man. And now the towers, why? Because those towers are going to be war towers and they are going to get now a lot of range. I mean, I'm joking a little bit, but now going seriously, these towers from Korea are just pretty sick. Pretty, pretty sick. And yeah, Siege Warsaw, look at the towers now. 10 range, 10 range already. This is awesome, man. This is awesome, really. All right. And what is that? Uh, I mean, uh, Pete Martel going to do? Pete Martel is going to do what? He has a lot of food. Okay, gold, four villages. And now he's gonna wall around and take this stone. I think he will go and make maybe a TC here, even. It is possible to do it. We will see what is he going to, to do. Okay. Some lot of tickets. No, the, he's in the only place where the where the Mestradamus is is not working, man. It's the bad thing, man. And he's doing a TC. You see? TC, man. TC incoming. Oh, and now he's inside already. Hi, hi, hi. He's inside already, Pete Martel. 
with the monks. Gonna make a monks doing one tone center, double monastery, doing another tower. This is tricky because he's going with uh, not even economy for him. Tatot. So we're going to see if this is going to work. What is Speed Martel going to do? Is the same more villages on goal? Well, we will see. Well, they have 10 range. Mining stone, doing another tower. For now, he's just getting map, not doing any damage. Oh no, it's an outpost. It's an outpost, doing another tower. Tatot can see just a monastery, nothing else. Mining stone, more stone, and more stone. And what is he doing now? Oh, did he did he sell a stone or something? If he's only doing one TC, why well, he has a 30 stone only? I don't understand. What he's planning to do? What his plans? Well, remember that Teuton Towers, Teuton Towers are 10, I mean, you can put 10 villages inside. 10 villages inside. Now he's doing a tower, all right. Those towers with 10 villages, they, they might work properly. I don't know if he should go for some fletching or something. Yeah. It's very, very interesting. Now he's coming with... Yeah. But you need a... Uh, you need uh, fletching, really. He's doing a thonement. Why? Okay, he deleted. Redemption, it makes more sense. I have found him and I didn't know why. Doing another tower there. Still trying to get more and more ground. Little by little. Remember that those mangoes are not 7 plus 1 anymore. He's housed now forever. Still no loom. He will have to make the loom soon. He has the sanity, he has the redemption, he has now the willpower. The game is interesting, really interesting, because we want to see what Pete Martel is going to be able to do. The problem is that with the towers, he's going to be probably able to kill the monks. We will see. We will see. He will try. Well, but it's not going to be fast Imperial. You are in 20 minutes, it depends what economy he gets. Uh-oh, he needs to go back. Yeah, now he just need to go back. Micro oh, well, 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 well. And now, and now, oh shit, shit. He did good. He converted one mangonel, but that was bad. Now make a tower here. He's gonna lose Villier. Oh come on! Look at the multitasking, Pete Martel. He's doing a good job. And look, look at the. Ah, oh, this is this is unreal. Well, this is the difference with the two case and the expert. You know, he know what to do, but look at the multitasking. Look, 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 oh, come on. Nah, I mean, this is unbelievable. I mean, with one scout, he lost five villains there. He was doing great. But look at that, with the wolf, with the scout, now doing another tower, so no more stone. Ay, ay, ay. Really? Ay, ay, ay. <clears throat> yeah, well. This, uh, this happened. This can't really happen. Now doing another tower, he deleted. No, he's not gonna take a stone anymore, or he's going to convert now the mango. And I think he's gonna be able to convert. Yes. Oh, but we be careful. He put the values. He's trying to, but he's gonna lose the monk easily. Easily. Yes. Yeah, this is terrible. And he has no loom, guys. He's still with this kind of attack and still without the loom inside. So just in mind how fast he lost the values. Even like that, he's still with more values than him. But it's really weird that in these kind of situations, you, you don't make the loom. Well, Lumbergham is bad, pretty bad. He has a lot of room at the back to boom, but uh, he has no stone anymore. And that's bad, really bad. He should take the relics, to be honest. The population is almost the same, but, uh, well, Tato is still far from going up. Only one tone center. But this strategy is working. Uh, it's, uh, it's working against... Uh, against uh, Pete Martel because he's on panic mode a little bit and his multitasking is terrible. Look, 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 look. You see? I mean, if, he's, if he was playing a little bit better, I think Tatot is not doing anything special. Like he took, yeah, he made towers, but but uh, uh, Pete Martel just killed himself. 
with the wolf. I mean, all the, all the abilities he lost, it was here, in that PC with the wolf and the scout. 11 unit loss. Ha! 11 unit loss. Unbelievable. Now, population. Still the same, almost the same. More population for for Pete Martel. And uh, maybe he should make not a mangonel here. Just make it here, monks. Because with the monks here, he could convert all those mangonels. He's gonna try to kill, but he can't. Because he's going away, he can see everything with the towers. Do you see? Look at that. That range. Those towers, pretty annoying. Now, gonna lose those. Yeah, man. I mean... Uh, it's not defending at all, at home. Doing another siege war, so... He's gonna lose that one. With the villages, he's uh, going to lose more villages, too. And... Uh, he's looking... Yeah... Pit did a, a, a really wrong strategy, a hundred percent. I know, I know, he's not defending right. Well, honestly, if he was doing towers earlier, it would be way better, but... Okay. Oh, well, he, he killed the runs, that's good. He has a lot of gold. Now he killed the Mangonels here, gonna make another TC. Tatot is still with one tone center. Oh no, two TCs now, okay. He could put ten villages here. He's just doing towers all over the map. He could expand his economy outside like he's doing. I will take I will really go and make monks outside. Uh, another TC here. Now Pit Martel is doing the fletching. He could put more villages inside, but he's not doing. Or Make another tower behind this, behind this one. Exactly, you see, he's doing exactly another tower now. And put ten villains there. Make a mangonel. He's not doing a mangonel. Just make it a mangonel. Do it. He's not. Okay, three tone centers. Still the same villains. Convert the mango. Convert the mango. Convert the mango. He deleted it. And now you can kill that ram. Got it. Go go go. I mean, Botkinaro would be would be really great in this situation. Instead of doing more and more villages, he should repair the the siege warsaw. He's not repairing now. He's gonna he's gonna repair, I believe. Yes, with the four villages, going with the ram and take it. All right, he's gonna defend outpost and starting to make more and more farms. He stabilized a little bit. 64 Botkinaro incoming now. Gonna kill that ram, but the rams are going to be gone too. There you go, killing both rams. So, like I told you, the game is uh, now stabilized and Pit Martel with more population than Tatot. Tatot map, what is the difference? Tatot map is just amazing. It's, it's, it's an unbelievable map, really. It's crazy map what he got. Just in mind if he got some resources at the back. So, the lag factor in these situations is, is there too. Yeah, but he let him make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 towers. 15 towers, man. I mean, the problem here is, it's really, 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 really expected that he was going to make this, but now the tower with 10 villages is doing the job. I'm gonna kill one of those towers. Destroy the tower, not kill. There you go, and the monk behind. This is good now. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. Going to take the tower down. You see? They are not that effective. Now with the mango, he couldn't stop those rams and he's gonna stop it. He's gonna make a tower here, but he's gonna make a counter tower with so many villages. Alright. Okay, the game is starting to be really interesting. It's still both with 72 and 70 villages. Awesome. Take the relic because you won't have resources forever with that map. With that crap, crap map. And the tower is gonna be there. There you go. And gonna take now some villages. Villages! The micro machine! Oh, that... No, 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 he's gonna kill the mango, and now he can go and kill more villages, look at Tatot, now on Titanic mode activated, ay, 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 yes, man, look at Tatot, with seven villains behind, a lot of islands, true, yes, for Pit Martel, but he did a bad move there, and he took a lot of, a lot of villains, gonna take this tower, and... Yes, man, he's, he's coming back a little bit in the game. Look at the score difference, playing good now. Also, he converted and he's going back. Well, gonna lose it, but he converted. Now with the ram and the man, he's gonna take that tower. 
Well, 10 villiers, man. He's killing war towers with the 10 villiers. Now doing the bar like the Obama. Oh, losing the manga now. Stop losing army. Stop losing army, man. Really? With that 10 villiers, you can kill the, the, the mango. Look, the mango is, is gonna lose like like super fast, instantly. And with two rams, ba ba boom. Okay, the Baraki didn't finish. 84 population, 83 is still super close population for both. But also, what a map, right? Look at the goal left for him 700 gold. Oh man. Oh man. Well, just about map control. Game over, right? Probably game over. Yeah, he has no resources. No more resources for Pit Martel with those towers. Well, he could go outside. I don't know if he's gonna make it. But uh, 70, 79, Valley 77. Tato still now doing knights and gonna make a castle. This is over. This is now game over. Absolutely game over. Yeah, he's just defending all the time, not, uh, not countering or anything. And it's GG. This is GG now. Yeah, but it's over now. I mean, he has no resources and with the castle here, with the knights incoming, what he can do? He's completely cornered. He has no resources. He's gonna... He's doing the barrack. Well, but he could defend better. I mean, no, not letting him go inside that easy. If you let him go inside, well, you are giving them up completely to, to your opponent. And this is what he did in this one. Still with more villages, but... Uh, but what to do here now? Yeah, he's still doing more towers. He has nothing, no houses anymore. He's housed forever. Two stables. Yeah, the map is super, super unfair. Well, for that reason, I really think that... Uh, that arena should, should have a, a fixed map. Because if you play Arabia or other maps, you have... All the players, three goals, and yeah, different locations. But here is, is one, two, three, four, five goal. Well, here he got. Let's let's say this is his goal, and maybe this one too. Do you know three? But outside is impossible. I mean, except that he was playing aggressive. Yes, then yes. But uh, in this uh, in, with these circumstances is is. Is completely impossible to to win. Anyway, he keeps trying. I mean, if he's trying, but uh, I think it's, it's impossible that he's gonna win. Now he's doing walls on the right side. Uh oh, he's coming with the mango. I'm gonna take down because he do not notice. There you go, got it. But with so many towers, he's gonna lose this mango all instantly too. You see, he do not notice either. Yeah, this. Yeah, no more goal. No more goal for Pete Martel and he's calling the GG. Yeah. He's calling the GG. Let's go back, man. Let's go back. Achievements. Well, military, 10 largest army, 13. You can see that he got he killed more. Uh, but Pete Martel got a better resources in everything. Except the stone. But he still lose the game. Why? Because all the map control, all the map control was for for Tatot. Stay absolutely tuned. Oh, I put the score from from Pete Martel. No, Tatot, guys. Tatot, stay tuned, man. There you go. Okay, guys. Uh, Tatot versus Pete Martel. Second game from Arena. Master of Arena. Are you ready? Because I, I'm really ready, guys. Let's go. Let's put Chat off here and check it out. Uh, let's put now Tatot with uh, blue, Pete Martel with red. Tato is in the south with Ethiopians, Speed Martel with Turks. In my opinion, Turks better. And now, look at now, man. But I like this. I like this because now it's happening the same that in the previous game. But this time for Pit Martel. Goal at the back with one, two, three goals at the back. Awesome. And both stone forward. Now he has a good map, man. Now he has a good map. Well, Pete Martel, well, Tato sorry, has a terrible one. Only two goals inside and the forward in the same spot. But I believe 
that what Tatut is going to try in this one, it is, seems he's with Ethiopians, will try to go as fast as possible up. Remember the 100 foot and 100 gold extra. Then, with that fast up, he will try to go archers and siege tower and go inside and get the game. Let's see if Memstradamus is gonna be now right or not. But I, I have the feeling that he's gonna make that. Because Turks, fighting Turks in Castellage, gonna be really, really dangerous. Really, 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 really dangerous. I don't know if you noticed, Jimsha, that we are watching Master of Arena and we are we care about the game. And you are talking about what you did in a black forest that we don't care. Focus in the arena, man. You are not the only one that are here. I'm gonna ban you, man. You, you don't see it, man. You don't see it, man. I'm gonna ban you, Jimsha. <clears throat> We are watching Master of Arena and he's coming to the channel. I was playing BF. And who cares? We want to watch the, this game, man. We can talk with your games offline or, or when we are in viewer time, man. But not now. We don't care, man. We don't fucking care. Okay, now I relax. Four villages of wood. This this lumber camp is, in my opinion, a little bit weird because look at this. It's exposed, man. Really, really exposed. And uh, yeah, well, if the other player is coming with the janitor, look what he can do. I think a lumber camp here will be better. The stone is nice because he has safe stone at the back. The berries at the back, always nice. The, what is this? Whiskey Whipper, thirty-three moons, man. Thirty-three moons. Mem face. <laughs> Mem face. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And now focus seriously into the game. Well, Barry's stone forward. Both stone forward. Look at the boar and uh, what he did. Okay, he's doing the mill and ballistic into the deers because that deer went a little bit far. Now he's gonna try to push the deers. All the day we saw, we saw how all the players. Stefan, I think it was, was pushing the deers without even put. The, the, the ship there, which is pretty good, man. Wow. Okay. But it's nice. With the tricky with the ship. Look at who is here. Mr. Kim Marv. How do you do it, Marvy? It's a Columbia cam. And uh, why he's not taking... What is he doing, man? Look. Take the board, man. You know that you have a, another boar? Man, he's not taking the boar. He forgot about the boar? Unbelievable. Take the boar, man. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, well, his map is beautiful. Has another stone at the back. That's that's so nice in case that the other guy is coming aggressive. Well, let's see what Tato is gonna do. I'm really curious. I believe that he will go 25 population up like in the previous game. This lumber camp is a very a very nice one. <clears throat> and with 25, even even 24, it is possible. If he's going, guys, 24 population up, he's going to make a hundred percent what I told you. Well, let's see. No, it's 25, okay. At least now he's doing two more. Oh, even more. Okay. Interesting. Still, if you go 26, 27, you can still go pretty fast. Of course, it's, uh, it's not going to be that, that, that fast, but uh, two villages on goal. Now, let's see what he's trying to, to do. Of course, Tatot can be dangerous in Arena. He's a creative player, so it can work, man. Oh, 670,000 Membiros. That's good, man. That's really good bettings. Uh, three villages on coal. Okay. Mm, 
Now he's up with 11 seconds, but one billion more. That's that's a nice time then for for Pete Martel. Okay, one, two, three, four farmers. Pete is over 2k. But remember, it's the rating is relative in my opinion. Relative in my opinion, you know. Okay, we will see. He's not. Uh, he's not on a stone, which is surprised me. And he's doing the barrack. Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm smelling the arches and the siege tower. I'm smelling. I'm smelling the archery range, the arches and the siege tower. Okay, he's mining now stone. Doing the barrack too. Oh, that's that's smart. He's gonna go then. The, stable then he will have light caps instantly and with light caps he's gonna go and stop that strategy he's doing and i think is the right way to go tattooed resource is amazing rt range as blasmith yeah but guys if red ply is going for light caps then that strategy is not gonna work for tattooed it's not gonna work for tattooed Okay. The time is good. It's good time. But uh, yeah, man. But this time from uh, from Pete Martel is even better, man. It's even better because he's only nine seconds, one billion more. He's mining a stone. He's mining gold. He's gonna make light caps. I say light cap because they are going to be light caps, and I really like it. I, I it's nice, man. This is looking nice. Okay. Yeah, man. Oh, what's up, man? How you doing, Mr. Laser? Yeah, man. Hype, hype for the supporters from uh, and sponsor and supporters from uh, Battle of Africa. Nice to meet you, man. Awesome, awesome. Oh, be careful. Now he's going with the scout back. You need to be careful, Pit Martel. Don't lose it. And really, exactly. Doing more scout is the way to go. He's gonna be safe. He's trying to go forward and with the belly aggressive. Yes. But if Red is playing smart, he shouldn't be shouldn't be in any trouble. Well, the same man. Awesome man. Which round is this? You have a point. Let me let me put more information below below the scoreboard and it is more five life round 32 best of five hopefully everything is good below the stream you can see everything yeah now it's perfect okay he can see it so he's spotted which is very good. Now doing a siege workshop, but he has a stone also. And really, with with a castle, Genisars, and uh, I'm telling you, he's gonna still try. Oh, he's doing a knight, knight, the light caps. This will work properly if he's just spamming. Oh, he's doing a tone center. Interesting. So he's going for more more economy, but uh, I don't understand that. I really don't understand that. And now Tato is still doing the Siege Tower, okay. And if he's spotted, he's doing the Siege Tower, but he's wall completely. But the TC, I don't understand, because Pete Martel, well, he's doing the Mangon also, he's fine. He's comp he should be completely fine. You know, he's doing the Siege Tower, let's see Pete Martel. He gonna see it or what? House, and uh, the TC need to be up. The Mangon is there, and where's the Knight? The night and the light gets way in the other side. I don't understand. Look, 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 look. The siege tower is there. But Tatot, what is this, man? Tatot is so in the siege tower before having the, the, the archers. This is a mistake, man. A huge mistake, actually. What the hell is Tatot doing, man? Well, the archers are there, but man, 
I mean, he's sending the archers to death. He's sending the archers to death. Come on, shoot, man. Come on, shoot, shoot, shoot. There you go, but he's not gonna take it. Only repair that. The mangonel and that's it. Well, he can kill that now that he can kill absolutely everything now with the mangonel and the knights. There's no problem. Tato has five villages more. That he has another TC. Uh, no, only one town center, but he's gonna lose more. And just go back and gonna lose, gonna kill now. Why he's killing the? Why he's trying to kill the? The siege tower. Just go for the archers. The siege tower is useless now. Okay. Go with the knight and the light cat. Now he's killing the... Okay. Siege tower is going to be bye-bye. And now... Oh! Well! Nothing. Nothing he did with that with that one. Two tone sentence. And he's gonna go probably with the castle here. Then he's gonna be completely safe. Completely safe. The castle is going to be a reality. Do it, man. Perfect castle to go Genesis and Mangonel. And then it's gonna be a hard, difficult game. But make the... What? Another TC. Okay, he wants to go for beautiful economy. This is looking a very good game for Pit Martel. Really, really looking so good. I really don't know what Tatut is doing, to be honest. Well, with Seco Mangonel... Yeah, well, you can move and try to Michael, but the light is now gonna kill the monk. Oh my goodness, this is total destruction for Tato. Total destruction. You don't need to go. You don't need to go. But he did it. I'm not gonna die. Well, it's completely over, man. I don't, what trolling are you talking? I don't see any trolling. He's just trying to play, try to, to do a strategy, and he's getting outplayed for now by Pit Martel. For now, but the game is not. Not even close to be over, really. But with double mangonels, with two mangonels and the light caps, he has the advantage. Look at this, he's been going for an aggressive castle. Awesome, awesome. Yes. Okay, I think here it will be even better. This is, he's taking here a risk that is not needed. You see, you see the risk he's taking. Oh my goodness, these guys. Well, but he cannot see it. Tatot, I mean. Now Tatot outplay him big time. With that one, and imagine if he's not doing the castle. Imagine if he's not doing the castle. Tato, but Tato don't imagine. He can't imagine that he's doing the castle there. He's going now, but the castle is going to be up. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, come on. He's going now with the knight, and the villain is down. No, he didn't lose any villain, and he's gonna lose now the mangonel. Whoa, 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 whoa. I told you guys that he took a risk that was not needed, but he's gonna go. go now Genisars, those Genisars are sick on another level, but his economy, weak, really, really weak economy from Pete Martel. Still, he has two villages more, so Tatot doesn't have a great economy either, but he's gonna spam arches probably to try to out-micro those future Genisars. Tato doing the loom, starting to make a lot of farms. The farms, you can see that it's not really as smooth, those buildings, because there is some, uh, yeah, some little panic. Why so many on stone again? I don't understand. Anyway, he should now completely push, like LB10 say. Yes, he should go full Genisars on. Even more Mangonels is needed, even more Genisars. I will even make a couple of light caps more to deal with, uh, with the Mangonels, but micro properly your mangonels because if you lose your mangonels you might lose the advantage you, you you have and you don't want to fight uh in impedo against ethiopians even more against a player like tato do you want to finish the game now because you should have advantage yeah but it's not about the the population it's more about the situation in the map and that with those genisars he should be able to take a really map control <coughs> Okay, more and more Genesis incoming. Not a single upgrade to, to not armor. He has seven range. But if he's spamming a lot of a lot of Genesar, he should be able to, to to take a very strong advantage. We will see. He's doing now the will borrow. Starting to make more and more farmers. 73 population, 80, five villages more. And with those two mangonels and four, five Genesars. Okay. Be careful now. Be careful now. Is he gonna take it? Now he need to go. He need to go back. He should be careful now. Is he going back or not? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, he's gonna take that villa here. Ah, that range is, is pretty sick. Pretty sick. He can see also another Mangonel incoming. But look at the Mangonel. How he's gonna die. 
open formation. Oh, he's trying to go, but he can't. Man, those those damn Genesis are great. Are really great. He's with a lot of crossbows, but he's coming with the Mangonels. The Mangonels, the Mangonels should do the job. He's trying. He needs ballistic. He needs ballistic. He's doing a good micro tattoo, but now, but now the multitasking with both in both sides. Look, 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 look. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. The micro is being really, really good. Not anymore. Not anymore. He needs to kill. He really needs to kill. Come and kill here. Tato is in problems. He's definitely in problems and gonna be in more problems. But send the Mangonel. He's not sending. Population is almost the same as still. And Pit Martel is gonna make another castle forward. Yes, if he's coming now, look at the stone and make another castle on his face. It's gonna be more and more difficult for him to take the game. Okay, well, the list is similar, pretty similar. Open formation! No, it didn't happen! Tatot, he lost absolutely all the dumb archers. He tried the micro, but the badaboom was real. Damn it! Whoa! He killed all the archers, man. And now, tattooed ballistic. But look at the amount of army. It's not happening now. It's not happening. Whoa, 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 whoa. He failed in that move. He really failed in that move. 78 villains, 10, 12 army. And he's coming. He's coming aggressive. But he need to be careful because there is more and more crossbows. Outpost, he's playing very, very good. Really, really good, but Tatut is doing now a good micro too. It's really difficult. Oh my goodness, good micro here, but in this spot, wow, look at the castle he's doing on his face. He could be even more forward. I mean, I like the castle, but in mind if the castle was here, it would be pretty sick. Those Genisars, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. If he's not micro, if he's not micro, yeah, no, come on. He's taking one mango, but he's coming from behind, coming from behind with another mango and the. Pe the Genisart, he's taking a... Oh, wow. But look at now the crossbows coming with another mango. It's two mangonels. It's a lot of crossbows. But if he's doing the second castle, and I think he's gonna make it so complicated to micro, but he's coming with a lot of mangonels. But he's gonna make now Tatot another one. Yes, he's doing mangonels too. He's doing mangonels. Open formation. Sweet, 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 sweet. And here, and here. Oh, oh, oh. He's moving a guy. Now losing another mangonel. And... That Mangona is going to go down one for one and he killed his own Billy. He's losing a lot. Pete Martel, he didn't need this castle. He's now on a Titanic mode activated because Tato is doing more Mangonas and he's microing with those crossbows way better than Pete Martel. But the castle is going to be up probably because those Genisars are beautiful. And now, and now, and now I got a subscription. And now I got a subscription. After that subscription, the castle is going to be Show up. Me the big beer, beer boom. More, hype, yeah. more, more hype, yes, the castle is up. And Tatot, it's about, about to go up. Yes, look at Tatot resources. Look at Tatot resources, it's about to go up to Imperial. Yes, there you go. And the other player is about to go up to nothing. To absolutely nothing because he has wasted a lot of gold. But he should push. Otherwise, Tatot will go Rams, siege Rams, and will dominate him with the Rams. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, another castle, but he's not an oath forward. He's not an oath. Oh, but he's killing villains on coal. Now he's taking a lot of map. He's taking a lot of map. He's gonna, he's gonna repair or not? He's going to repair or not? Well, he's trying. He needs the fletching as well. Oh my goodness. Now taking a lot of, a lot of map, killing a lot of Tatot, but being an Imperial now, well, the multitasking. Is he gonna make the multitasking? No. Losing. And with that mangle, killing. Oh, I like this. Trying to kill more and more villages. Kill the monk, man. Got it. Oh, the gate is open. Ooh, almost. Almost opening the gate forever. Would be great to open the gate forever. But the population, 10 population difference, 3 mangonels and Pete Martel. It's recovering now. Gathering more and more resources and will go up to Imperial with 3 castles up. While Tatot has no stone to make a castle. That he has a stone? Yeah, he's mining a stone and has a lot of stone at the back. But his economy is pretty low. Pretty, pretty low. Pete Martel on the way to Imperial. On the way to Imperial, Tato has a stone to make a castle. He's doing the castle forward. Good spot. He's trying now to go. Let's see Pete Martel if he can see it. He need to go with the Mangoral. He's gonna kill some more villains. There you go. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, oh, oh. He's not killing. He's coming with the Genisarts. A Mangonel! Oh, that was a sweet. 
Sweet, sweet, sweet shot here by, by Tatot. He's gonna make the cast. We're gonna lose now that one. Yes, he's he's gonna lose. Trebuchet will try to kill, but what he needs, Pit Martel, Siege Wars up, Bomber Cannons, and that's it. Population, pretty similar, but 17 billion is more. And now, a beautiful map. Doing gold mining, stone mining upgrades, don't go that back. He's doing the Siege Wars up, exactly. I mean, it was expected, not big deal. With one, two castles, two Siege Wars up, three castles. Now moving to make another lumber camp, you need to stabilize your economy. You have 32 farmers, 21 lumber, he has 23 gold miners and the stone miners. Now, if he go couple of bombard cannon seems they are super fast, but he has no wood. That's the problem. He's really, really struggling on resources, which is normal anyway. He should come and repair the castle. He just need to get time. If he's getting time with bombard cannons, he should be unable to take him. I don't know if Tattoo is gonna go what. Well, tra more traps and probably Arbalest as soon as he can. But Tato's economy, it's at the very limit. Doing another TC, but uh, he's repairing the castle. More and more Genisars and uh, sending more villages to repair. I mean, if he's losing this one, if he's going with the Bombard Cannons, he's gonna be fine. He should be fine. I'm gonna kill more villages, I believe. No, 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 no. 10 range, 10 range. Don't lose it. Oh, come on. Sloppy play. Sloppy play. Sloppy boy is still not even fletching. I mean, with fletching he will take her everything. Fletching and, and 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 botkin. You cannot be without the fletching in these situations. Anyway, Pit Martel, Bombard Cannons, Trebuchet in the castle that he's gonna lose, which is a smart instead of doing in the other. Now he's uh, repairing with two, three Trebuchets. Let's see the micro is going to be crucial. And the castle is down, like I told you. Instead of doing the trap in the other side, now Bombard Cannons, Genesis can make another castle. But, uh, well, 10, 11 villains more. He's doing another castle, so he's just defending with those. We'll try to go traps. Tatot will go, remember, with Ethiopians, beautiful, beautiful archers. And actually, they can work pretty good, even if they are Genisars. So, let's see if he's gonna finish the game or not. The three trebuchet are coming. The Bomber Cannon is also now doing the damage on that castle. He's going to repair himself. No, he's doing another castle. And maybe going to repair a little bit, just to get more time. But, uh... Yep, going with the trap, with the bomber cannon, the game is super intense. I really think that he should have got this better, but he didn't. Tattooed one relic, Pete Martel is not taking the relics, now he's gonna lose more and more ground. This is three bomber cannons, he has to be really careful, because if he's losing the bombards, it's gonna be a big problem. He's gonna go and take this, oh, 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 what is he doing now? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, uh oh, open formation, those are, oh wow, good shot there, good shot there, now he's going back, those are three, four bomber cannons with the Genisars, he's trying to kill more and more, and it's gonna be really, still really difficult for Tatot, he has good population here, Mr. Martel, and he's gonna lose now, the castle, definitely, the castle is going to go down, no more stone, he's trying now to kill, and with the tramp, the castle is down, bam, whoa, now, more RT range is going to go hand cannoneers. I don't know. Why no hazards? With those resources, make hazards, man. Exactly, man. Yes. Oh my goodness. Is he listening? Let's check if he's in the channel. I don't think so, right? <laughs> and to Trebuchet, Bombard, Cannons, Mangonels, he's gonna go. You need hazards, man. I mean, those are nice. Only food, no gold, and just use the gold for the Bombard Cannons, really. Oh! Cab Archers! Awesome! He's gonna go Cab Archers? Well, Cab Archers from Turks are pretty sick. Really, really sick, to be honest. Anyway, population. Similar. Yeah, man. Cab Archers from Turks, remember, they are one of the best Cab Archers in the game. Awesome! Awesome play, man. Heavy Cab Archers. Well, to be honest, it's a beautiful play. Well, oh my goodness, love it, that Trebuchet shot. And, 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 be careful. No, 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 no. Shoot, 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 shoot. Come on. Shoot, man. I want to see the blood. Is he shooting or not? And he's going back now. Okay. He's going to lose the trap. Fast and unpredictable. The fight is still super damn intense. Still a lot of gold, stone, fletching. Still need a lot of upgrades. Oh, he's gonna lose the bomber. He's wasting a lot. He's wasting a lot. And you don't waste a lot against Tato. If you let Tato to come back, he's gonna make now 
Shoot turtles, warriors. Why he's doing scale mail armor? Gonna, oh well, Halvard Diaz, man, for free, half for free. But he thinks that he's gonna come with hussars, and he's not gonna come with hussars. He's gonna come with the cab archers. But guys, he's taking now absolutely everything with the arbalest. Absolutely everything with the arbalest. Little by little, Tato is coming back from the hell. Yes, he's doing, man. He's doing even with way better resources, with a lot of stone. He could have. Why he's doing farmers outside, I don't understand, and I will understand, never will understand that. Well, husbandry, rain archer armor, all the upgrades for those cab archers, and he's still doing farmers outside, which I don't understand with the map he got here, and he's doing the, the economy outside. Uh oh, uh oh. Well, he's still coming with three trebuchet, but he needs just more bombard cannons. I still think that hazards would be a, a really good choice just to kill what is coming. Cap rams and now siege rams. Tatot will win the game. Tatot, it's gonna win the game. I don't know what, how Peter Martel getting all that advantage with the castle. It's just giving that big chance for for Tato to recover. Shipai! Shipai! New upgrade, but I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check very soon what that upgrade is that. I don't remember, to be honest. I don't remember because it's not really open. Oh, oh, oh. Look at the amount of Kavars. It's crazy and beautiful Kavars, but he's gonna lose another castle, probably. Yes! Bomber Cannon is gonna take it. You need to make some hazards to kill the Rams. The Rams incoming are gonna make a uh, terrible damage. Terrible damage. He wants to kill those Kava those Arbalets with the Kavars and the Genesis, and then the castle. What? Oh my goodness! Ay, 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 ay! He's losing absolutely everything. What are you doing, man? Those Arbalets are going to kill all. And now with the Siege Rams and the Trebuchet, he's killing absolutely everything. How he is losing the game like this? He's gonna lose it or not? Pete Martel, no more gold anymore. The castle is going down, but now he's going back. He's sending one round cab ram. The Genisars, the Genisars are now working so good. So good. And still, I mean, if he got a lot, now it seems that even if he lost the castle, look at the amount of farming from Pete Martel. So he's not losing? Is he going to come back again and win in the game with the cab archers and the Genisar? It's possible, man. It's really possible. You can see Pete Martel, Siege, Ram, Stato, the least skirmishes leather archer armor okay he's not going with his skirmishes but the skirmishes shouldn't work if he's going with a lot of hussars population is still similar to both he's even housed now but the siege rams you need to stop the siege rams and don't waste your gold units well he has siege rams as well and trying to kill now awesome game awesome game with different civilizations like we love it Pit Martel 146 villages a lot of idols but more army for Tato more army 42 25 well with those siege rams Halvardis and Arbales he's doing a really really good job and still he's doing more and more army than the other guy and another castle so little by little he's recovering the map he's recovering the map and he's wasting a lot of I have I still have the feeling that he's wasting a lot of army, man. Tours can't win Ethiopian. Well, it depends what army you use. But they, should, they shouldn't win in Imperial. In the late game, they shouldn't win. Now he's doing Hussars, right? Yes, I said that a long time ago, but he's now doing. And he's coming with more Siege Rams. Arbales, Halves, Trebuchet. Few Siege Rams as well, trying to kill all those. And, and he's gonna be able to stop. Those Cavars are pretty sick. He's coming with more rams. The rams are gonna help a lot. Gonna help a lot to counter. He need to make and hazards only plus one, plus one. You need way more upgrades. Way more upgrades. Let's see if he's gonna be able to take the relic. Okay, the hazards are taking now finally those. Those six rams, but he's coming with a lot helps. Wow, but both players almost at the pop limit. He's losing now the monk. Now with those hazards, he's trying to get in front and kill those rams i don't know but those cab arches guys are being the key man those cab arches probably underrated are doing an amazing job really really an amazing job he just need to kill the six rams and the cab arches are taking absolutely everything if he's taking the six rams of course okay it's only plus one plus one that's the problem you need a stronger upgrade because see, otherwise tattoo will take everything will take everything the map well, you can see the map he got at the back, but now he lost, well, he lost, he used all the resources. Siege Rams going to 
to take now the TC, but little by little, man, Tatot is taking all the map. He's taking all the map. He's taking all the map. Pit Martel, 152 villies, but unable, unable to stop the Rams. He's gonna kill them or not? Come on, man. Micro properly. He's not microing anymore. He's not microing. And Tatu is gonna lead the score very soon. Really, really soon. Look at this castle going to go down and he's not doing anything. Not doing anything. Oh my god. Now he's doing his multitasking is still is slow. He's just slow. Well, in, in the in the you're right. I mean in trans war, the Turks shouldn't win ever to Ethiopians. But it depends if it's trans war or if he's gonna be able to keep those crazy cab arches. Well, he did good counter in the start, but then in my opinion I think he he titanic in my opinion a little bit in Imperial. Is what I think. Why? Because he got a huge chances to push and he let Tato to come back completely, man. When he got really weaker economy than him. Anyway, the game is not over, but it seems to be. Why? Because now with 64 armies, more than double the military than, than Pete Martel. And uh, except if he's just balance his economy properly, 76 farmers, guys. 76 farmers, 46 farmers. I mean, 76, sorry, Lumberjacks. It will be better 70 farmers than 76 uh, Lumberjacks, you know? Anyway, he's a guy with a lot of cavalry. If he, in my opinion, if he's able to mass like 30, 40 Hussars, but with good average, okay, now he has the plus four, he can still do it with the cavalry. But don't waste the cavalry. Remember that the Turks doesn't have, doesn't have the elite skirmishers. The elite skirmishers. Well, he lost, how many castles he lost? Pete Martel lost like like five, seven castles or something. Now Bombard Towers. Bombard Towers now? Nah, he don't know what to do now. Yes. He don't know what to do now. I mean, Bombard Towers now with no goal and 671 uh, stone is it's impossible. It's, it's just impossible with, with that one. Now he's doing farmers there. Why? Why, 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 why? I don't know, man. He's gonna get inside. He's breaking the walls. And Tatut is winning the game. This is the 2 0, man. The 2 0. He got a huge chance in this game. But Tatut, since he is a better player, he saw it that he's a better player. And he did a very nice micro and coming back from the hell, man. Yeah, Pete Martel, 0 food, 0 gold, and a lot of wood. Why? Because he has. So many Lambia. Well, now he balanced a little bit, 62 farmers, but he's still not killing the Rams. Yeah, well, he still uh, still keep some some cab archers, but uh, yeah, now he's yeah he's in shock. He's in shock. No goal, no food, nothing to do with the with the Turks. And he has Pit Martel guys, zero relics, zero relics with Turks. It's impossible, just impossible. 164 population with Martel now, 200 population. And if he's losing those cap arches and he's losing this castle, when he's losing the castle or even earlier, he will call the GG. He's inside now. He, well, you see that his reaction is, is really, really behind. Yeah, he has 143 villages, but he's unable to make army. Yeah, he will call it. This is over. This is over. Maybe he can hold more because he has a lot of villages, so he can spam units, but but still. Okay, losing the castle now, getting house it, little by little. And Tatot got it, man. It was looking really that he was going to... Well, the cartography can save him. But he was looking really that uh, that was the equalizer. And it would be nice because we would love to see closer cities. But with the 2-0 now here... Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. And after this game... The confidence from Pete Martel, mm. right? What do you think, guys? Do you think it can affect to him that he, he got the feeling that he was getting this game and then bam, down? I think it can be, yeah. And now he got no map, it's, it's just over. No, I mean, nah, for me it's not a civilization win. I think it was way better play by Tatot, 
And if if uh, if Pete Martel was playing uh, properly, in my opinion, he will he will have won the game. Definitely. He wasted a lot. He did a massive oath, and he was trying to like uh, to win super fast, but without an oath army, and then he lost it. Now he has uh, zero resources, zero wood, zero food, zero gold. He don't even have houses, and uh, yeah, this is completely over. He's not calling the GG, but but now Tato is like in like in uh, in the in deathmatch mode, like spamming all over the map, you see? On the left, in the middle, and almost on the right side too. Yeah, well, Siege Rams, he's trying to, to make some damage, but he can't. 140 population, no food anymore. Yeah. 48 farmer, 48 Lumberjax, but he can't produce army. 79 army, 11 army, he got zero chances now to win the game. Yeah, the push is, is constant, all over the map, all over the map. Yeah, GG well played, definitely man, definitely. And nice, nice, nice game, nice play there by, by Tato, definitely. Military, he killed more units, but Tato the 85 largest army, 46 largest army, Pete Martel economy. You look at the economy, Pete Martel the most food, more, but by far. The same wood, more stone, and a little bit more gold. So definitely, it was better macro for Tatot and micro. Because look at the amount of army. That was a very nice game, to be honest. A little pity, because I really have the feeling that Pete Martel makes some misplay. But overall, really nice play. Guys, 2-0. After a very nice and sensational second game, let's go for the third game, guys. Vamos, amigos. Well, let me switch the color to give Tatot blue again and Pete Martel red. And then we have Tatot with the Slavs and Pete Martel with the Britons. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Fellow Spaniard then. Yes. Okay. Well, he's deleting all and uh, map. Map now for Tatot. Stone at the back, stone and goal at the back at two. Another goal on the right side. And not really exposed. Uh, this outside, he, he has a nice map, a very nice map. But this matchup is, is gonna be very interesting. I really don't know who is gonna have the advantage here because, well, it's, it's difficult, you know? It's very difficult and uh, <clears throat> it depends how you play. I really think that the Britons, the Britons should have uh, good chances in this one. But it depends how the game is going. Because with the Slavs you can go for the Moncrass, can be really strong. And also if you go for Imperial with the, with the Sensational Siege, remember that they have, well, let's check. They have siege, all the siege, right? Except bombard cannons, siege rams, siege owners, but siege rams are, are really complicated to stop. And then the monks are, are pretty strong. Except heresy, they have a lot of stuff. Also, this beautiful, well, they are not going to go to orthodoxy. Plus three, plus three the armor on the monks. Don't think so with Britons, he's gonna go monks, monk crash, but still. My great grandfather on my mother's side was full blue despair. Then he was a strong man. <laughs> okay. Well, look at he's bringing the boar. Goal on the right side. Damn it. What's up, MBL? Is he here too? I don't see it, man. Is he? Shit. I, I cannot see properly. Something in my eyes. Oh! Titanic. Okay. Well, he has gold on, on, on the left uh, and the relics. These belong to, to Tatot. Both has... Uh, where the shit? The, the DS? Oh, two inside. Okay.
Three village on berries, gonna take the boar. <laughs> I'm not badass, man. I am a nice guy. Come on. What is this? Anyway. We see how Tato is already a little bit ahead. Taking now the second boar. And Britons, what is he going to do with Britons? Let's check Pete Martel. He has explored all? No, he didn't. He explored first even the, the outside. What I think is it's not even needed. Just go push the deers and explore your base and then in Feudal Age you can go and explore the, uh, the rest of the map. Three farmers already. Interesting. Many farms. And nice! He lost a villager. So, Pete Martel it's now in a noble level. Oh my goodness. How the hell he lost a villager? And he's also idle TC. Oh, two villies lost! He lost two villies, man! Awesome! Beautiful, man! Beautiful! He lost two villies luring that boar. Two damn villies! Beautiful! Man! He tried to play like Hoope! Exclamation mark Hoope! Exclamation mark Hoope, guys! Don't forget that... Two villains lost is a new meta. Yeah, must be lagging between Italia and Spain. Should be huge lag. Oh my god. Yeah, man. No, but it's not needed. It's not needed the emote that he got thanks to my video. It's only needed the video, okay, Johnny Sar? Or I gonna ban you instantly. What the fuck is this, man? Just the video, man. <laughs> yeah, huge pin with 38 pin, right? Oh my god. Well, you can see now pushing the deer with three, four bellies. Gonna make a little palisade. Don't let it go. Oh, he's going. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's save it, man. He save it. He save it. Okay. Well, two bellies lost. That's that's huge, man. That's really huge. Damn it. He's gonna go mine gold at the back. Beautiful mining cam. Is Italiano. Is Italianini. Spaghetti. Porca puttana. You know? Is Italiano. Okay, well. Sir Toe, you shouldn't be a casual, man. Because this is the best game. This is definitely the best game. <laughs> Do you like my my Italian my Italian? Pekinis, come on tell the my man. Oh Pekinis, Sababia. Oh Pekinis, love when I see you here, man. Oh, yeah. A fan culo. <laughs> well, pushing the deers, we are getting a lot of fun together. And uh, I speak English, okay? English. English. Yeah, it's English. <laughs> well, he got a... F uh, uh, yes! Uh, and, uh, and and NBL is getting a, a, a boar with a flag when he's playing with AM. And, and he's still from Norway, man. What the, what the hell, man? He can put the, the flag he wants in the, in the overview, but he's Italiano. I'm telling you. Italian. And now... Market, Blasmith, okay. Two villains behind. And his economy, well, his economy is still good, but of, of course, man. He, Titanic with the with the villains lost. Anyway, Britons is a very good one. So let's see, is he gonna lose also? No, he has the advantage with the scout. I think so. Ay, ay, ay. But maybe not. Oh, he got it, yes. I thought he got the advantage. Anyway, Tatot. It's up faster, of course, with 28 villagers. And uh, Pete Martel is up only 13 second difference, but two villagers behind. Because he lost, man. He lost to a scout, damn it.
It's fine, man. I mean, I read it, uh, but I mean, I mean, I mean, thought you call us noobs because you are noobs, man. I mean, what is the bad thing? I'm noob too, but it's not bad to. I mean, noob is not an insult, you know. It's it's a characteristics, you know. It's like a a quality that you have. I mean, leaf leaf clan is a nice one. They are funny, they are nice, and they are noobs, you know. That's it, man. <laughs> But anyway, three villages on gold, two villages on stone, another mill. What is this, man? But being noob is not bad, man. Not all people can be expert. Anyway, out of jokes because now the action should start with five, five on gold. Is he gonna go now double monastery and siege maybe? Okay. Siege Warsop. Monastery. Inspected. Well, Pete Martel is going to do what? He will try to boom? Wow, his economy is fantastic. But he's doing a monastery. And he has no economy to even make an extra TC. But he's doing now on a stone. And uh, let's see what he's planning to do. I believe that... Uh, he will try to make another TC and then mine a lot of stone and, tr and make a castle defensive and go and booming with with a castle. Uh oh, it's a pause. It's a little pause. Okay, now that we have a lot of people, don't forget, guys! Exclamation mark Oboa. Okay, you can see in the the title. No, not not anymore. Let me put. It. In the title, damn it, what a Titanic! Because Battle of Africa, it's going to be a reality, and it's going to be fantastic, guys. Just fantastic. Check it out that link, and uh, if you if you have some comments to do, suggestions or whatever, feel free. We are not going to listen to anyone, but feel free to make the com the uh, the feedback. <laughs> and, and then, <laughs> if you want to support. This is the way you can support. <laughs> okay, now one, two, three tone centers, and well, cheap TCs, man. So he might be able to recover the economy. I believe so. Oh well. It's bad, Kimar, or what? And I am still waiting your one thousand dollars, Kimar. So it's gonna be six six thousand six hundred, man. Well, it's actually not updated. It's actually not updated because today moves one hundred. Send me one hundred for the tournament, so it's five thousand seven hundred. And another lover boy told me that he's going, he's going to support with with five hundred more. So we should be right now in 6,200. Those 500 I didn't get yet, but I believe, I believe in the... And I got also sponsorships. Yeah, I got also Phoenix Gaming International that they were watching. They were watching the great uh, King of the Desert and they wanted to, to support us, the Age of Empires community, with uh, 2,500. And it's not... SY tournament anymore. They are not involved. So it's right now Main TV, The Lover Boys, and Fennish Gaming International with the great job Swiss Boy in the house. Okay? Don't forget that too. Never forget that. But now, focus again in the game. Why? Because he has one, two, three tone centers, and because, oh, he took the scout instantly. Three monks. Uh-oh, what are you doing? Go back, go back! Oh my goodness, bye-bye, monk! Bye-bye, monk! Got it, man, got it. Computers, man. They produce computers from ES ports, man. Strong computers, super gaming computers, so... That's amazing, man. Salve. 
four relics, two relics in the house, one relic, the other relic, other relic might be on the gate, on the walls, I believe. Usually is on the wall. Where's the, where's the fifth relic, man? I don't find it, man. I don't know where is the, rel the, the last relic. Are you for real? Uh, but uh, it seems to be four relics. The castle is there. It's happening exactly what I said. He's doing the castle even more. Oh, man. Why he's doing the castle that behind? Make the castle here, man. You are giving your main goal. Ay, ay, ay. Well, he still have good resources at the back, so he's fine. 56 population. The boom is almost the same. The castle is going to be fantastic. And he's now tattooed doing the redemption. But he can go around, I believe. So make some walls. Or he will go around and then your castle is not going to defend. Well, he's open. That reason probably he don't, didn't want to, to take any risk. But, uh, well, let's see. I don't see the last relic. When I... I don't see the, the last relic. I don't care, anyway. Maybe blow and can Tato see the castle? No, he can now. The beautiful Britain's castle. But like I told you, he can just go around, man. He can convert here and he can convert the market even if he wants. So, dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Behind the wood. On the left side. Here. I don't see the relic, man. Don't care. Unbelievable. Yeah, he's pushing now. Monks, mangonels, he's going to convert. And is he doing army? He's doing now the Lombos. That he has any army, no fletching, no nothing. No fletching, no nothing. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's still mining a lot of the stone now doing light caps. Well, I like the defense he's, he's gonna do. If he's doing light caps, also with the Lombos, he might be okay if he's doing a good micro. Why? Uh oh. Uh oh. He's killing now his own spears. What are you doing, man? What the hell? Good job killing your spears. That's not good. Now doing a tower. Very nice tower. He's basting too much. Who is he's basting too much? Mr. Kimarf, he has one, two, three, doing the four tone center, still the same amount, no light caps, but like you said, he's investing too much, Mr. Pete Martel. And Tato is on the way to Imperial, man. On the way to Imperial. Unbelievable. Yeah, he can clip. Now, on the way to Imperial. Wow. Well, he can now take those those mangonels. It's possible to take it. He's still only with Fletching, but uh, he's up to Imperial. The list pretty much the same, but he needs more, more economy. His house at Castle Drop coming by, by Tato, definitely. Now doing the market, another market. It's a 24. Pete Martel on the way to nothing. <laughs> yeah, well, he's he's completely a mess, his economy. He's, uh, he's just trying to spawn everything. As seven villages behind. Now he's doing the castle here. And if he's not sending already the army, this is over. Because he's gonna go and... Go, go, go. He need to delete all the walls, of course. Sending all the light caps. He doesn't have too many. Too many, so he can kill actually all the mangonels. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop, go back. He's deleting all those light caps. Gonna kill absolutely everything. And now, yes, he's gonna kill absolutely everything, guys. Everything. He's gonna kill all the villages. And this is absolutely, absolutely good move here by Pit Martel. Killing all the villages, the scorpions, and all the monks. Good job. But kill the villages now. Stay there with the Lombos. Is he gonna stay there? Yes. So he went to Imperial, but now Tato lost all. Tato is still with more villages, but no army anymore. No army anymore. Good job. He should wall that. 
he should really wall. Now he's, well, this is also another beautiful and amazing choice. Another castle forward. Fantastic, fantastic counter attack here by, by Pete Martel. Anyway, he needs to go to Imperial. Or Tato now will do it exactly the same that in the previous game. Gonna be behind and uh, will come back from the hell because he has 90 villages. So he will go now. Barracks, well, spikes. Spikes against Lobos, not gonna work. But if he's going Siege, that's different. That's really, really different. He has four relics now. Four relics. Light caps taking more. And yeah, this castle is fantastic. Really amazing. Let's see what he can do. Outpost. And uh, I will rewall to don't get raided. How is his economy? Pete Martel is now on the way to Imperial. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. He's on the way to Imperial. And he's gonna be with the snipers. He's 8 range. He don't have... No, he has now the Botkin Arrow. So, with Botkin Arrow and uh, being in Imperial, he's gonna be able to take super, super strong Lombos. And Tatum is doing, of course, Onagers. So he wants to go Onagers and Hals. Are we going to be able to see some crazy bada Badaboom? Ay, 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 well, I think he was even in a, in a better spot in the previous game. So we don't know what is going to happen here. Still 10 villains behind. Mining a stone. He can make another castle really soon. I'm gonna move to Tato's point of view. He's at the very limit with the economy. At the limit because he's using absolutely everything. 37 farmers and 41 lumberjacks. And now, and now, with the light cap, with a lot of lombos and a couple of monks, he's gonna come forward and make a castle in front. I believe that the castle here will be fantastic. He still have no stone. Yes, he doesn't have a stone. I know I don't understand all this economy outside. In the previous game, he paid off. Now a TC with one villain. Go, go, go. Vamos, amigo. Well, Pete Martel, good amount of food and go. Resources for Tatot at the limit. Doing all the average squires. Plus one. Plus four, sorry. Played male armor. And, uh, well, Rams two. Still 95 villages. Well, it's Britons. You don't need with Britons 170 villages. But he's doing more town center, which is very nice to expand your economy outside. He's over 2k, 2, 2k, 2.1k. Light caps. Those Lombos now are a 9 range. So they are basically like outposts. That castle covering the goal is okay. Forward. And you can see that he's coming with battering runs for now. Tatot is with halves, a lot of halves. But if he's doing all the upgrades. Well, he's gonna have now 10 range lobos. 10 range lobos. Another castle defending the wood. Okay, not taking any risk. Not taking any risk. But he has zero relics. Army, more for Tatot. More for Tato, as you can see. He's coming with the Onegers. He's coming with the Onegers. So he really needs. Let's see. Pete Martel. He can see those Onegers. Thanks to that beautiful and amazing outpost. Also with the Barak. With the Obama. Okay. Gonna take that goal. Crab mining camp. I don't see. Where is the fifth relic? To be honest. I don't see it, man. Trying to find it, but I don't see where it is. <clears throat> Man, well, you will do a Master of Socotra tournament when Jimsha is gonna get 2k rating in Bubbly. I'm gonna make a Master of Socotra. Fuck, Master of Socotra, man. Okay, Lombos, Siege Engineer, Siege Rams, Iron Casting. <laughs> in few moves. Let's go. Okay, 145 population. Army, he's coming with a lot of rams and trebuchets. So we'll start to lose the first castle. Ay, 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 ay. Those cap rams. Look how they are going to be. The siege rams. Speed Martel. Junid Onegers. He's doing men at arms. Okay, his standard infantry is okay. But, but he is with Onegers as well. So this can be a total disaster for Pete Martel. Look at those Rams incoming. He's coming with some light, but the light guys will die 
instantly against those halves. Now he's trying to go hit the owners with the castle at least. Oh my goodness. Open formation. This is gonna be absolutely terrible. And he didn't even wall his base. Why? I have no idea, man. I have no idea. Look at this. Just with siege rams and halves. Taking absolutely everything. Kill the owners. Just kill the damn owners. He's got the owners. There you go. All the owners got it. And now use the damn villains. This is a lot of, a lot of, a lot of rams. But why he didn't wall? I don't get it, really. I really don't get it. He's doing long swords, but how many how many barracks he has? A lot, good amount, but outside all them. So he's gonna kill this castle. He's gonna make more bar barracks at home. Come with the mangonel. He's gonna try to kill now the run. There you go. He's killing, of course, his own villagers. And now with the three trebuchet. Uh, well, he's taking the, the win. Uh, Pretty, pretty easily, right? Man, with the map he got also. Now look at the castle he's doing. Uh, Tato is playing safe and pretty nice. Yes, definitely. Look at those siege rams, the squires, 200 swords, a 4 gem. Now with those siege rams killing absolutely everything, taking more and more map. Look at the mangonel down. Well, he's still there, but he's housed forever. Now that is standard infantry is doing a good job. A good job, but his, his economy is a total mess and no relics. Siege Warsop, he took down that TC, another Siege Warsop, and zero economy, man, zero economy, ay ay ay. Okay, this is a lot of a lot of 200 swords. Yeah, it's GG. What'd you say with capital letters? Siege ran, siege ran high train. Yeah, well, it's true, but but the bodies is the bodies don't let capital letters. Well, Drusinha. Well, if he got little chances to win, he might now with Drusinha. Yes. Wow. Well, military is pretty much the same, really similar. So let's see what he can do with the standard infantry there. But he's coming with the halves. He's spamming halves. And he's winning with halves and siege rams against the uh, Briton. Ay ay ay. He's doing another market. He can spam now, army. Yeah, but uh, Pit Martel, zero castles. Yeah. No more castle, maybe he should do Arbalest, he's coming with the Ornaries, look at that standard infantry now doing the job against those halves, and with the Lombos he should go and kill, with 11 range he could kill the Ornaries, and now, okay, he's trying to come back from the hell, well, he has good army man to counter, really, but, oh, Vajar's hype? Yeah, he's cleaning all the map, he has all the map, now Pete Martel doing the crossbows, because he has no castles, and the crossbows are pretty strong, and not as strong, to be honest. But he needs the infantry. Without the infantry, he can't counter him, because you need to kill the siege, man. You need to kill the siege. So, let's see. Now, Tatot 141 villages, and another castle. Beautiful, man. Go! Okay. One run is 75 gold, if I'm not wrong. I think so. Well, he's doing the castle. Still gonna break here now in the other side. So he's gonna make the castle here, but he's trying to break in the yeah on the left. Now that army just go and send to the other spot. Why he's fighting here? Well, he's killing, but but he's gonna be now in danger at home. 140 population, 180 still. And Tato, well, he's at the limit with the resources. Not at the limit, but he's spending everything. And that mining camp, you see, I mean, it's, it's really needed. Okay, you have one, two, three, four mining camp. Make another here and, and then you get the goal in, in one second. What the hell? Focus on killing this, man. Not, not to, you're doing another mining camp kissing each other. Romantic mining camp, I'm gonna call it. Five rams with the halves. Now going with the long swords and the castle there. Champions incoming. Champions pretty strong. Okay, champions plus two, plus two, coming with Vajar, plus four, plus two, ay ay ay! Well, casting is up, 
Okay, here's the caster here. And, and the fit mining camp, man. Fit mining camp with five mining camps. I'm telling you guys, you get all the gold in one second. But he let him get inside. But he has five mining camps. So, wall, man. Make some walls or defend. What the fuck, man? Yeah, man. Unbelievable, man. <laughs> I don't get it. Well, he's now defending with the Arbalest. He has a good amount of farming and defending. Well, not walling and being okay, but now, but now, but now. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. This is the game, man. This is the full push and get the game. Wow. This is a lot of siege rounds. Where is the standard infantry? I don't know. Where is the champions? He was doing the champions some time ago, but he's not doing. And now, killing this, he's gonna take absolutely everything. It seems so, man. It seems so. Castle is down, so don't be so surprised if his grid called the GG fast and unpredictable. 191 population, 136. <clears throat> He's doing a house there, but uh, he lost everything. This is over, man. I mean, he can't counter anymore. He also don't have pikes, so he's coming with the Cavaliers plus 4 plus 4. Smart move there by Tatot. Tatot is still with 4 relics, and seems he didn't lose anything at home. His economy is strong. Siege Rams, Cavaliers, and also Skirmishers. Good. GG. Good luck. Next. He's not typing today. Not really talkative, Tatot. Achievements. Military. Well, he killed more units, but the economy must be brutal difference. Exactly. Except the stone, the food, the wood, and the gold. Total domination and Tatot that got promise in one game got a 3-0. 3-0, super strong, fast, and probably predictable. Guys, hope you have enjoyed. And if you watch this on YouTube, oh, come on, leave a thumb up. Stay tuned for the next games incoming.